I'm so upset. I can't believe that Carson Wentz is gone. Uh, I know a lot of people blamed him and he did make some mistakes uh, this season, but you know, I can't believe they led one bad season, you know, not just on him, but like I explained before, everything else, you know, it's, I just want to start off by saying, you know, I'm, I appreciated everything Carson did for our team. You know, from when he started as a rookie, he had that spark, gave us all excitement. Well, he gave me freaking excitement, you know, to the max. When 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 they were fresh, him and Doug Peterson, they went for it on fourth downs. And, you know, we lost in Wong games in the 2016 season. And then 2017 came around, we were rolling, you know. He gets hurt. We still go on to win the Super Bowl. But we wouldn't have done anything without that guy. Without that man, you know, on our team. We wouldn't have gotten number one seed. We wouldn't have won the Super Bowl. Played a, uh, like, NFC Championship game at our house. You know. We wouldn't have gotten an NFC East title. You know, we had chances. We gave ourselves chances with Carson. And yeah, man, it, it's it's a bad beat for me. I I'm 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 sad. You know, I, I like I'm gonna miss Carson Wentz with our team. And I wish him the best. I hope he has success. You know, in the Indianapolis Colts. Um Yeah, I just it's hard, you know. It was hard for me when I heard the news. I was a little bit heartbroken, you know. Um, all that being said, it's time to move on on why we did this. Okay. I'm going to start off by saying we're dumb as fuck. Okay. We as an organization don't know what we're doing. Okay, if y'all think Jalen Nurts is going to take us to a Super Bowl, he might. You know what? If he has success, because right now as a starter, he's one in three. He's one in three, guys. One in three. He and, and against the Cowboys, has already lost. He has yet to beat the Cowboys. He has yet to beat Washington. Rivalry games. He's only beating a number one seeded Saints who were one and done in the playoffs. You know, it's... What, what now? You guys think Jalen is going to come in here and take us, you know, far? Even get us to the playoffs? Because, I, honestly, it's unknown to me. It's unknown what direction the Eagles are heading. With this move, I don't know what we're doing. Like we, we first of all, we we, we gotta pay him thirty four million, and he's not with our team anymore. We're paying Carson Wentz to win for another team. How dumb as fuck! How dumb as fuck is that? How how can how can we have a, as an organization do that? What what? What the hell is wrong with you guys? Y'all y'all couldn't think this through. Y'all had to agree with, you know what? Let's agree with what the media and with what the Eagles players are. That's why you got a head coach to bring everybody together. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, oh, boss, what did you want? Either get rid of Jaden Nurse or get rid of Carson Wentz. We shouldn't have gotten rid of any of them. We should have kept both of them. Why, why the fuck? Now what? You're going to have Jalen start. And and then what? He gets hurt. Who starts after him? We don't have no one. We don't have nobody. And we better sure as hell not spend our first round pick on a goddamn quarterback. Because 
We, we, we don't need that. We really need... Priority is defense. That's our priority. You know, what, what, the, what the fuck are we going to do? What are we going to do now? We got a second and third round pick for Carson. We got to pay him $34 million. You know, we, we're huge losers in this trade. Huge losers. You get, you guys, like, I don't know what the fuck, why we have our head up our ass. Because you guys made a, we, we made an even bigger fucking downfall trade than the Rams did. You know, the Rams, they got, they traded, I don't know how much people to get, you know, Stanford, you know, Matthew Stafford, we lost more than them. You know, they got picks. They got a bunch of stuff. I think they got like three or four picks and Jared Goff. And they only got back, you know, Matthew Stafford. We traded Carson Wentz and we got two picks. They're not even in the same draft. We got one for 2021 and the other one's for 2022, depending on how much snaps wins plays. Plus, we're paying them $34 million. How much of an idiot... How, much, how idiotic can the Eagles be, man? Like, why... Oh, I don't understand it. I don't understand why we did this as bad as things were this season. We couldn't afford to do this. We couldn't afford to do this. Now we're going into 2021. New head coach. I like that we got coordinators. I like that that we made a bunch of moves coaching-wise. Player-wise, we're taking huge blows. That was a huge blow that we lost Carson Wentz. That we gave him away. We sold him. Whatever the fuck you want to call them. Because we don't really... We're not really selling him. We're really paying the buyers to buy him. $34 million. Like, Jesus Christ, guys. This is so... I mean, I'm sad that he's gone. But I'm even more upset and more mad that the Eagles made this move. Like, Jesus, we're giving away millions away for a player that don't even play for us anymore because you guys wanted to trade him. You know, I, I hope next year, well, whatever this move that you made gets us a Super Bowl because that's the kind of caliber move you had to do to, to trade Carson, pay him what we have to pay him, even though he's not going to play for us. This better be a Super Bowl caliber move. Because as bad as things were, as divided as the locker room was, I still wouldn't have made that move. I'd discipline all these guys. And if they don't like it, I'd trade them. I'd trade them. I mean, you didn't hear Carson say, well, you know what? I like playing with this and I like playing with that. The man stayed professional all the way through. All the way through. He's frustrated about losses, but he don't blame nobody but himself. He's a man. You don't hear like Alshon Jeffrey saying, you know what? I dropped passes. I didn't make, I made half-ass efforts with Carson. You don't, you don't hear um, Jalen Rager. Yeah, I made half-ass efforts for Carson, but I made full efforts for Jalen Hurts. That's how you know people aren't adults. That's how you know that men don't live up to their manhood potential. They're getting paid millions. And they want to act like high school players. At least Carson had class. And still to me has class. The man don't talk shit about nobody but himself. He lives up to his mistakes. Unlike every other player or other players, I should say, on the Eagles team. 
So now what? You guys got you guys got rid of Carson. Now what? Let's see how y'all do without him. Let's see how y'all do with Jalen. Let's see how y'all do. I want y'all to beat the Cowboys. I want y'all to beat Washington. I want y'all to beat the Giants. Y'all need to at least go to the divisional round. Let's see if y'all even make it there. Let's see. Because I don't see it happening. All I see is a rebuild. Y'all want to rebuild. When we had a freaking quarterback. We could have at least tried another year. You know, let, let him earn those $34 million If you were put, really putting him to the test. He would have won games for us. Now we don't we won't know the truth. If he comes back really healthy because he was benched half the season and then ends up going to AFC Championship game or winning the Super Bowl, what are you We're gonna look like total idiots? The whole organization, all of Eagles fans are gonna be embarrassed of this damn team. We better have big caliber moves. That's all I have to say. Big caliber moves coming. Because I, it's it's really hard for me to handle this. You know, two draft picks and we got to pay him $34 million? Dumbass decision making, man. <laughs> 